My name is Dr. Sidney Rabinowitz. I'm a board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon as well as board certified hand and microsurgeon. Reconstructive wrist surgery is a very broad topic. There is a whole range of injuries that people could sustain. Uh, these can be work-related injuries, they could be injuries sustained from childhood that were never treated, they can be congenital problems that rear their head later on in life, uh, but typically these are work-related or injuries sustained at the home or while people are exercising. Wrist injuries require a very careful history and physical examination. Uh, most of the time they will require other testing to be done. The gold standard right now is an MRI test, uh, scan of the wrist, and that usually provides us the information and uh, map, if you will, in terms of what we need to do and what the uh, problems are. Since wrist injuries is a very broad topic, uh, there, there can literally be hundreds of types of injuries sustained. The, the treatment will be tailored to what their injury is, also take into account the patient's age, uh, what the patient does, but most importantly, what the patient is expecting or looking for, what their expectations are. Nearly all reconstructive wrist surgical procedures are now same-day surgery. That's the wonderful thing that's evolved over the past 10 years or so. And also there are long-acting anesthetics we can inject into the wrist at the time of surgery to give them significant pain relief for the next 48 hours after surgery. So what they can expect is most of these procedures are done under anesthesia, they're asleep. And the procedures will typically be somewhere between one and a half and two hours for most of them. And they typically will go home about an hour and a half after the surgical procedure. They will have a bandage on, they will have usually a splint on, and most of the time they're able to move their fingers, just not their wrist. Uh, because of the long-acting anesthetic, there really is no pain for the first couple of days, and thereafter, usually only a minimal amount, minimal amount of pain medication is required. Outcomes for wrist surgery depends very specifically on the type of injury and the extent of the injury. Obviously, our goal is to restore motion and to restore strength and we do that to the best of our abilities. Certain procedures may result in some limitation of movement, but usually it's not enough to impact what they do day to day. And in terms of recovery, depending upon the severity of the injury, the extent of the surgery, typically we're looking anywhere between just a couple of weeks recovery for arthroscopy to two to three months for the more uh, invasive and complicated wrist reconstructive procedures. Reconstructive wrist surgery is right for the patients when uh, we, meaning the patient myself, after discussion, uh, realize that the injury that they have is a significant uh, factor that impacts their lives. That it either impacts their ability to work or to do whatever activities they like to do uh, uh, in their free time. So that's a decision that I will make with the patient every time. And Usually we try to start non-operatively, but if it comes down to surgery, uh, that's something we'll discuss with the patients in terms of what we need to do and what they can expect post-operatively.